touching my plants now, but like I said, I don't know anything about plants, so I'm just gonna show you them. This is what we got yesterday. It's really pretty. I think it's called like a Monstera something, right, Josh? Okay, Monstera something. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it or like where it's gonna go or anything, but for now it's right here. I moved my coffee table over here because I thought this was like the best spot to put it for like the amount of light it needs. Yeah, I like how it has like little holes in it. It's like so cool. It's like Wow. So, 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 these are other plants. Did you just fart? Yeah. <laughs> and here we have a little air plant, and it's so cute. If you saw my DIY macrame video, you would know that there was a little moss guy in there. Well, he's not in there anymore because somehow got infested with the and There was like bugs living in there, like a snail, and there was like snail poop in there. I don't know how they got in there, but. They did, so we got rid of that and just put this little air plant in there and I think it's really cute. And then we have this ivy that you saw in that video too, but I am killing it. I think I was drowning it, so I just repotted it and I'm gonna try my best to bring it back to life. You can see a bunch of leaves fell off or were dying, so I took them off and then like there's a bunch of leaves with like little brown spots in it and I'm really sad. I don't know how I'm killing this plant because this is supposed to be an easy plant to take care of and I'm really upset about it. When we first got it, it was doing really good. Like it grew a lot. Like this is how much it grew. But I got too excited and I just started watering it way too much. So I repotted it and I'm trying to bring it back to life. Hopefully we're able to do that. And here are three more air plants that are super cute. I really like air plants. So like literally just don't go in the dirt, you can put them wherever you want. And then we have another air plant up here. I'm really mad because this one wasn't here. I literally just put it here like a few minutes ago because Chloe, I guess Chloe jumped up there today and there's like little bite marks taken out of it. So I'm mad at her right now. She's grounded. We put it here and I actually don't think it looks that bad right there. So we might leave it there. On to a plant that we got today. Oh wait. In our kitchen, we have like a lot of plants because there's like a lot of sun that comes in through this window. Right here, we have some cat grass that we give to our cats. We just got it yesterday, but sun's obsessed with it. my cactus over. <laughs> okay, so if you guys watched my car video, you would have seen this plant in there. It's doing so good, so beautiful, growing a lot, doing really good. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Yeah, these were also in my car video, my little cactuses, but this one's not doing too good. But the other two are doing good. These ones are doing fine. And this guy's my favorite one. If you watched my um, DIY video, you would have seen this one. Let me take it down. Oh my gosh. This one's really cool. It's like, they're like mini trees. They're like trees, but they're tiny. And when we first got it, it only had these red leaves, and then these ones sprouted out. So, that's pretty neat. It's doing pretty good. This one, we also got from when you saw the DIY video. And it's so cute, and it's actually doing really good house and it's re doing really good in the window. It's these like mini little flower thingies that are so cute. I really like this plant. This is the next plant and we got this today. And it's so cute. We got this pot too today. Josh picked it out. I think it's a baby rubber plant and it's so cute. We're probably not gonna leave it right here but I just put it here for now. But yeah, I like this plant. I think it's really cute. Chloe, being the bad girl that she is, decided that it was a good idea to take a bite of our brand new little peperomia plant, whose name is Bub, by the way. She thought it was a great idea to take a bite, but she didn't like it, so that's good. But now he has a little hole, so I'm pretty mad at her, but it's safe for pets, so it's fine. But it's still really annoying, so yeah. My phone just rang. I don't know if you could hear it. Sorry. Okay, that's all. Bye. 
this is our tree ivy. It's really, really, really pretty. I really like ivies, and this one's like half ivy. This one was in our living room, but we moved it into the bedroom today because it started like dripping. I thought it would do better in here. But yeah, that's our little tree ivy. This is the last plant. Okay, so this kind of isn't the last plant. I accidentally bought like five more plants this uh, weekend, so yeah, that's a thing. It's another ivy that we just got today, so I'm going to work really hard on keeping it alive. It's really pretty, and we put it by Jess's side of the bed because I read somewhere that they're really good for allergies, and he has allergies, so hopefully this helps, and I really like ivies, so... I like this plant a lot. So, here's the situation. After I recorded that video, I figured I might go to the store and buy like maybe one more plant. Um, I kind of bought like five more plants. So yeah, that's where we are right now. The first one's this one. It's a little succulent. <laughs> we got this one because it has purple on it. And Megan hates purple, so that's like a plus side. Yeah, it doesn't actually go right here, but our kitchen's not the cleanest right now, and I didn't really wanna, didn't really wanna show you the kitchen, so that's why it's over here right now. We haven't named it yet or anything, but it's cute and I like it, so. That's number one of the five we got this weekend. So this is the next plant we got. It's a golden pothos take it down so you can see it. I think it's gonna be hanging here. I'm gonna make a little macrame hanger thingy for this one like I did the other one. This is it. It's really cool. And these are supposed to be easy to take care of so hopefully I can actually keep it alive this time unlike my ivies. Yeah, this is the little guy, so. Mm -hmm. All right, next, next plant. So 
this is the last one. Oh. This one is a snake plant. And I love this one. It's so cool. I just think it's really cool. I really want like a million more of these. And I'm just saying this right now for the first time. And Josh is hearing me. He's probably not excited about it. But don't worry. We're not going to get any more. Even though I want them. These are really cool because you don't really have to do anything to take care of them. I was looking it up and it says you can like wait anywhere from two to like ten weeks to water it, depending on what the soil feels like. Pretty much wait for it to dry out almost, and then you can water it. And I mean that's a little bit of a problem for me because I like to water my plants, hence why my ivy is dying. But you know what? I'm gonna make it work because. This one's in our room, and they're really good for emitting oxygen at night, which is why it's in here. I think the oxygen's been pretty good. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I don't know, but yeah, that's the last plant. Sun, <laughs> look at it. it for today's video thank you for watching if you liked it please like and subscribe we post every friday so come on and come back next week and watch another video how about that okay all right bye guys <laughs>